Hey there, Nation. Welcome to the show. We help you to play Manager's Board Gaming on a budget. And now it's time for another edition of Hobby Side Videos. This is our very last of our Nicaragua Army Showcase videos that we've concentrated on. So we've gone through almost all the house gangs. Now we're on to our very last set. We have 9-11 of House Van Sar. We have the Sleeping Dogs of House Dalak as well as our higher guns that we have here as well. So we're going to focus on these last few miniatures and we'll be finished up with our new uh, video series on Nicaragua Gangs for Army Showcase. And this is all done because next week we're having those uh, wonderful box sets of Nicaragua dropping out from the Underhive and we're just kind of doing this to celebrate. So with that being further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get dialed in. This time, let's go straight towards House Van Sar. Okay, so with the House Vansar guys, um, just to let you guys know, no conversion work was actually done in any of these miniatures at all. Uh, a lot of these guys are just piecemealed together from various miniature systems. A lot. This is our heaviest gang, uh, just to let you guys know. In terms of literally and physically, these guys have uh, like a lot of heavy weapons in this unit because they're Vansars. But the reason why they're heavy is because each one of these guys is pewter. Okay. Not a single one of these guys is plastic. And the reason why is because, like I said before, uh, my local Hobbytown USA shop had a bunch of sci-fi miniatures in these little bins that you can purchase for a buck fifty a piece. And over the years, I accumulated a lot of these guys. And according to one of my viewers, his name is Nicholas D. I'm not sure if he's a subscriber yet, but he was talking about one of my videos. They recognized these guys from a game called Warzone back in the day. I guess it's a science fiction uh, miniature war, gaming, war game. And he said that's where all these guys came from, was from that lineup. So I'm not sure which factions those groups were or what they are because I didn't do any research on those guys. I just picked what I had. So as you can see here, that's pretty much what I went with. So the idea with this gang was I wanted to have like a bright yellow color. Uh, I didn't think yellow was very well represented in War and Necromunda, so I decided to paint up this entire gang in yellow. Make it look very, very bright, vibrant, to make it look like they're wearing like radiation and hazmat suits. And then lime green for the accents to make these guys kind of stick out as well. So as you can see here, this is the leader that's Busta 9, that was the original leader, leader of 9-11. So almost all these guys here from those Warzone miniatures, this guy here is really cool, he's a heavy. I really like the way this guy came out with, same thing as well. So what I like about this gang is if you don't see their, their facial features, it's all hidden away behind gas masks and hazmat materials. So I thought that was like one of the cool aspects of that gang as well. So I was really, really happy the way they came out with. Plus the way I painted these, these guys just kind of pop up. They just kind of pop out against a uh, dark background as well, which makes them very, very cool. This guy here is a, another miniature. I'm not sure. He's not from Warzone, I don't think. He's from that other urban. If you notice, he looks very, very similar to the judges of Precinct 13. That's because I had one extra guy from that kit. I used him to paint up to make this, uh, round out this gang here to make them look really cool as well. Now, I also have three pit slaves that go with this gang. This gang uh, hired up uh, three pit slaves with Buddy Warlord Ace. Uh, Hired up these guys. So as you can see, these guys, these pit slaves, they are converted work. Uh, it is primary marauders, so marauder legs, torso, head, and then imperial guard arms. This guy's getting last pistol, uh, plasma pistol. And then this arm is from the orc knobs box set that I used to create my uh, scalies for my uh, for my buddy's uh, scavy gang. So as you can see, that's a bus saw arm there. Right over here, we have another guy. This guy has a, I think it's called a power drill or a power claw or something like that some orc knob weapon on a marauder body and of course this is an extra space marine arm that we just painted yellow and gave him a colored gun for that one for his bolt gun and then finally this guy here is the pit fighter uh marauder body legs and head and then we just use orc knob arms with power claws to give him uh twin power claws so those pit slaves came out really nice as well so that is the pit slaves with precinct uh, with uh 9-11. And finally, last but certainly not least, we have our Sleeping Dogs of House Delac, and that's these guys here. And if you're wondering what these guys are, these are miniatures from a company called Heresy Miniatures. They're a British-based company. Um, unfortunately, making House Delac guys was pretty hard to kind of convert or find pieces for because they have such a very interesting look. They're all wearing trench coats. They have visors. They're all bald. You know, so it's kind of hard to find miniatures that kind of match that. So I actually had to just go out and just buy these guys from Harrison Miniatures to make this gang up as well. They do a wonderful, wonderful job for their gang system. As you can see, they look just like the old classic Delac figures in the 1990s. You know, they got bare chested. They got the trench coats. They're all bald. They got these cool sunglasses on. This is Mr. Sinister. He's the leader of the gang as well. So every single miniature within this range is the most complete gang. 
uh, using gang miniatures from that lineup. And we just kind of bought those guys and painted them up likewise with the yellow for their guns to kind of make this stand out. Green camouflage pants, brown trench coats just to make them look tactical. And uh, yeah, very, very simple gang to kind of create because you just bought the pieces for these. Like my um, 9-11 gang, these guys are all, um, these guys are all uh, pewter as well. So they're, you know, nice and heavy as well. Make a very, very cool thing. And then lastly, we have our last of our three pewter miniatures. These are our hired guns. Uh, this guy, I have no idea what gaming system he came from. He just looked like a cool, like, Native American-esque bounty hunter with his bone armor and his barrette and his two guns. So like I said before, we got this guy a long time ago when I was a kid at a bit box. So that's this guy. He's like our bounty hunter backslash scummer that we use. This guy is a Warhammer 40k figurine, if I remember correctly. He's a Talarian, I believe is what they're called. They're the guys that look like um, Middle Eastern Mujahideen from um, Warhammer 40k for the Imperial Guard guys. So you can see this guy, we just, he is missing his left hand, his right hand, so we just glued a pistol, last pistol there, just to make it look complete. Very, very cool miniature. I like the way his robe came out. It looks really, really sweet with that purple color. And then, of course, we have our Ratskin Scout. And this guy was actually purchased at my local game store for about a buck. He's an old school pewter. I believe he's what's called a shaman for the Ratskin Scouts from the 1995 sculpts that came out for the Ratskins. Um, but, you know, his shotgun was missing at the time, so I just kind of green stuffed his hand to place and just made it look this way. So that way, this guy was also known as Red Harvest. He was a Ratskin mercenary that I used for my uh, Cotor members for like the longest time as well. So, yeah, that's how you go about making that guy. All right. So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to finish up for this hobby side video, series of hobby side videos dedicated to our army showcases for Nicaragua. As always, you guys, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Your guys' input is valuable as always. Also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, as well as Google Plus for all the latest and greatest information about what we're doing for hobby. That's going to do it for this series of hobby side, ladies and gentlemen. You guys stay classy. We'll see you guys on the flip side.